Hey guys, it's Bex and I'm back with another video. Today, we're actually gonna be doing an outfit pairing and doing my makeup with it because in a few weeks, I'm going to the Iron Maiden concert. So if you're ready to get rocking and rolling and do some concert makeup with me, as well as some outfit pairing, you've come to the right spot. So let's get on in. All right, so first things first, we're going to pull my hair back, my little bangs, my little bangy bangs. So I figured for this makeup look, of course, you know, we're gonna go in with our shadow shields. We're gonna put those bad boys right on. So usually something like getting ready for a concert would be, you know, grounds for, oh, let's tell, let's tell a nice ghost story. Not today, folks, not today. I'm gonna tell you more of a scarier story and it's called Becca's Dating Life. It is a much scarier kind of story, and I think you guys will absolutely enjoy it. So, all right, let's zoom on in. All right, you know, first things first, you know, where we're laying down. Tried and true, this is the P. Louise. This is the base in Rumor Zero. We're using the white one today because of the colors that I'm gonna be putting down. I'm gonna be doing more of a vampy kind of look for this concert, so. Let's start off with, with my interesting dating life. As you all know, I've been single since January and I've taken some time for me healing all that good stuff because we've talked about it here on my channel. And now I'm back out dating. My therapist and I have been working through, you know, preparing me to get back out there, get back on the horse. Let me tell you, that horse, that Poor metaphorical horse of mine. Let's just say a prayer for that poor horse because this poor horse, <laughs> it's bad out there, y'all. It is bad. I just wait. Just you wait, cause you think it gets, you think it's bad? Oh no, honey, it gets worse. All right, everybody, I'm back. I, not only did I have a coughing fit, but I wanted to just go ahead and finish this up. You already know how I do with putting on the foundation and whatnot for the base, so. So first up, one of the palettes we're gonna be using is the Jeffree Star. This is the Conspiracy palette. We're gonna be going in with Diet Root Beer first. So let's start out with my most recent event. My most recent, I went speed dating. I went speed dating and it was, it was interesting. It was through this concept where there's no host, the host is virtual, which I think is a little impersonal because what if there's a huge issue? Like what are you supposed to do? But everybody, I feel like the bartenders and everything, if there really was an issue, the bartenders seemed really nice and that they would have stepped in and done something, but I digress. So it was through shuffle dating. I kept seeing their ads posted on Instagram and I thought, okay, well, why not? You know, what is it hurting? It's not hurting anything. So I signed up and I signed up for Friday the 13th and it was funny because my friend, she signed up too. And she's like, should we be scared because it's Friday the 13th and we're going on these dates? And I said, honey, it's dating in Vegas. Every day dating in Vegas is Friday the 13th. So we're gonna go in with an old school Morphe palette. We're gonna use this purple shade right here. I don't even know the name of this palette. So we're like, okay, let's just, let's just try it. Right now, why not? What do we have to lose? It was nice because the venue was, was a local spot so it wasn't like a typical like cheesecake factory or something like that it was very much a nice local establishment to where we could support them and the only thing i didn't like though was it was small it was a small venue and i thought it was going to be bigger than what it was there was only i think there were supposed to be eight eight men eight women and then there was there were, there were two no shows so two of the guys didn't show which was really frustrating so then that meant that i sat there for 20 minutes at one point with no date and i just sat there and played on my phone and kind of you know mingled with the one other girl that didn't have a date at the time either. So that was a little frustrating. But then my very first date, right out of the get-go, he is dressed in black pants, sagging. He's this Asian guy. He has a black shirt that says YSL on it. Then he has a cap that he doesn't even pull all the way down. Like it's just kind of like sitting like right here. So odd. He is wearing these cheesy, thick, cheap looking gold chains. He begins to talk to me 
about himself. I couldn't get a word in edgewise. He begins talking to me about how he is in finance and he's short and I'm just like, okay, whatever. He begins to talk to me about how he's in this business where he invests in gold from China and whatnot. And I'm like, okay. Then tells me about his ex-girlfriend got him into investing, how he invests in all these properties. Half the time he's here, half the time he's in back in LA and just bragging about how downtown Vegas is just trash compared to LA. And I'm like, um, LA's is literally trash, but okay, dude. He's like, I'll give it 10 years before downtown is, you know, hustling and bustling. I'm like, downtown here is like really hustling and bustling. Like go down just a little bit down Fremont and it's good. I don't know. We're gonna switch over to the mini controversy palette. We're gonna pop in this bright purple shade here. He then proceeds to check out my friend who is sitting right next to us. Check her out the entire time that we're having this conversation. And it's just frustrating. It's like, hello, you know, I'm not interested in you, you know, but then he proceeds to talk to me about politics. And I'm just like, oh boy, this is not gonna end well. And I'm just like, okay, bro. Like, so who are you voting for? And I'm like, why does it matter? Like, he's like, well, I'm just curious. He apparently talked to everybody about that. So I don't exactly know what his MO was with that. I don't, but it was quite obnoxious. He was just really disrespectful in like a not overtly disrespectful way. Now we're gonna go back to the conspiracy palette and we're gonna use this purple shade here. Sorry, I'm like checking. My mom just messaged me. I'm trying to get this thing to like, I hate that my eyes are really watery right now, I too. So anyway, so then finally the time is up for our date. It was like the longest 10 minutes of my life. And he proceeds to continue talking, like ignoring it. And I'm like, okay, like you gotta go to your next day. Like, I was so happy. And he just wanted to stay and chit chat with me. And I was not having it at all. I was like, no. So then the next guy sits down and I'm like, okay, thank goodness. And we know we had a good conversation. We talked about food and stuff. Um, he was a little odd, a little different, but you know. So we talked, we talked. He is an attorney, but he works from home, which is really weird to me, but he, you know, we had a good conversation and I mean, I would have hung out with him again, maybe not like romantically, but what's funny is that this was a really humbling experience because I put him down as both a match and friends just in case, you know, I wanted to, I would hang out with him again. Again, maybe not romantically, but like, um, he apparently never matched with me because I didn't get a message from him. I got a message from one of the guys that I thought was pretty cool, but his schedule is too busy. So we'll get to that in a second. All right, now we're gonna go in with a, a very, we're gonna go in with a very black shade because we're going to smoke this look out just a little bit more than it already is. So then the, the second guy, I guess, didn't like me even though I thought we had great conversation. And when our date ended, I was like, oh man, like we were talking about food and stuff and it was really great. We were exchanging, you know, experiences with food and whatnot. And, and again, I thought it was a really great date, but this was humbling because bro was probably like a four or five. So then my third date comes along. Oh, third date was the guy that had like three hairs hanging on left. And all he wanted to do was talk about his ex-wife and talk to me about travel and how he's a Polish citizen and how I should get dual citizenship. And I'm like, no, I'm good. And then wanted to talk about just the most random things. And then talking about COVID, about how he's unvaccinated. And I'm like, again, I don't care, but it was just such a weird conversation. And then the date after that was really interesting. Like he led an interesting life. I would have hung out with him again. Again, it wasn't like a love match, but he was pretty cool. We're gonna put down some NYX. This is this is their glitter primer just because I want some more purple to really pop right in here So, you know, he was okay like friends for sure Like we had a good conversation going with that really beautiful purpley shade from the Jeffree Star palette controversy But I guess it wasn't a match either because I didn't get a message from him Which again like no hard feelings, but like he was probably like a solid five But it is what it is, you know So then the guy after him was a lot of fun and we actually matched like again I would probably be friends with this guy. I don't think it was really a love connection per se, but it was definitely like we flirted. We had a good time. And he, the thing that sucks is he messaged me and his schedule is so busy. He's a politician. Well, not, he's not a politician. He works in the political, the political field. I don't exactly know what they're doing. Like somebody, he works on somebody's campaign. He obviously wouldn't tell me, which is fine. Like not a big deal, but yeah, he, he works on a campaign and I'm like, okay. And you know, they do. I think he's in charge of like the door to door canvassers. We're gonna go back in with the black just a little bit and just want more of smoked out definition right there. 
But we were trying to set up something for this coming week and he's just way too busy. He works weekends. We're gonna go back in with that very first color for the Morphe palette. So he wouldn't be able to meet with me until until after nine o'clock or grab coffee in the afternoon. And so I don't know, maybe we'll figure it out at some point. Um, but who knows? Real nice, you know, he's a real nice guy. I really, I really enjoyed our banter. He was funny, he knew how to carry on a conversation. So bravo to him. Oh, and he can only meet late at night, and that sucks. Like, like meeting late at night for me sucks on the weekdays because I go to bed super early. All right, ready for the big reveal. Let's see, look at that. I don't even need to do eyeliner when I use these shadow shields. Now we're just gonna take a little bit of what is left uh, from this purple color. We're just going to go underneath a little bit. So then the last guy, the last guy was interesting. The last guy is still married. We're gonna get a little bit more purple. I need a little bit more purple. Yeah, the last guy's married. And I was like, okay. But he said, they're separated. Okay, well, so is my ex. So that I was not happy about. I'm like, really dude? Like, why are you here? And he's like, I'm not gonna make her fill out the divorce paperwork and file and all that stuff. Okay, dude, you're married. This is called speed dating, not speed friends. So I will say though, that I'm at least happy that I went because at least I can say that I went on some dates because um, I was supposed to go on one. So this event was on a Friday and I was supposed to go on a date with a guy on Wednesday and he canceled two hours before. And I'm very suspicious of it only because the way he canceled and then sent me a picture as if to be like, see, I'm not lying. Like we're gonna go in with a cat Von D. Well, actually it's KBD Beauty now. Uh, tattoo pencil liner. It's in the shade Pearl Spot White. We're gonna put this right in here. So yeah, he was married and then he complained about his wife him not being into and she's his second wife and I'm just like okay dude and then he talked about how he wants their traditional wife where if he works and she stays at home then she needs to cook and clean and all this stuff I'm like oh, okay this is these are all some great red flags no thank you and the bartender told us that the Asian guy oh the Asian guy also wore these really ugly thick framed black glasses oh my god and you can tell they're not real glasses so obnoxious all right so i've zoomed you guys out just a little bit we're going to try some samples one of my amazing good friends at work gave me and let's test them out that remember during COVID, that flur missing person that really took over the internet and it's supposed to remind you of like a missing loved one that's passed away or something or like no longer with you i don't know we'll let that soak in and see the world's tiniest beauty blender so this is one product i've really wanted to try so this is the danessa myrix beauty this is the yummy skin this is supposed to be the blurring balm powder i've been wanting to try this oh yes and i can't forget all right before I forget, let's do eyebrows real quick. So I'm gonna use a little bit of a darker pencil just because for this look, I really want, I really want to find eyebrows. So yeah, that was my dating experience. And it was just frustrating because the date on Wednesday, I was actually really excited about because he's a guy that's part of the church, but he's not, he doesn't go to my ward. So, but I was really excited about the date. I was really happy. Things were going good. We were talking every day that week before leading up to it and yeah, I don't know, the, the night before he just got really weird and I had a feeling that we weren't gonna go. So, kinda knew, I had a feeling, you know? Yeah, that's what happens, you put yourself out there and sometimes it's well received, sometimes it's not. But then, things are starting to look up though because a friend of mine set me up with this guy that she matched with years ago but they never really dated and they never really hung out and they've just been acquaintances for the last few years. So she's like, hey, he lives up by you. Like, you know, I think it would be a great match. And so, I actually went and had coffee today. So, really nice guy. And so yeah, it was it was a great coffee date and we actually have a date set up for I think Friday or Saturday So I'm excited a little nervous, but I'm excited. I don't know like this doesn't really smell like anybody like this missing person Honestly, I think it's just a, a plur to get you to buy it. All right This is the balming the blurring balm powder again. I'm not exactly sure how this works So maybe we'll use I mean, I guess I can just use my foundation brush. But this is what it looks like. Okay. Like it's a little, like, are you supposed to wear this under foundation or? I don't know, we'll do one side and see how it works. So I don't know if we can tell the difference or not. So this is the side that has it. 
I will say this eye look really brings out the green in my eyes though. So is this supposed to be like a natural just, oh, I can see it now. Now it's starting to really blur. This is super shiny, this isn't. Well, it's interesting. Well, let's put it on the rest of the face, right? So yeah, like, you know, dating is really interesting in 2024, I'm finding. Now, since we're going to a rock concert, I'm not really concerned about how messy the under eye is only because it's gonna sweat off anyways for the most part, probably. Or the rest of this will stay real nice. I'm not gonna put mascara on the bottom for pur purposes today because it's already it's already a little late in the day here but yeah i am i'm liking this it's definitely nice for if you want to be more natural and not have foundation on so we're going to use just roll with it this is the p louise this is part of their contour palette and we're going to go with a p louise brush just kind of contour it in here. Give us some dimension. Just kind of yellow on me today. Maybe we need to go a shade darker. Oof, I don't know if I like that either. I don't want to go too dark. I don't know if I'm feeling this today. It's very orange. I think I'll go in with the Chanel because this is a tried and true for me. So let's say some prayers, y'all, that my dating life is going to pick up. But I'm excited. I've never just dated, dated. I've always just jumped into relationships. So I'm excited about just dating. Dating will be nice. So for blush, we're going to gonna go a little bit deeper with the P. Louise blush. I'm gonna go into here. So just dipped in it just a little bit, not too terribly much because I don't know what, how it's gonna pick up. And it's better to just pick up a little bit and then, because you can always put more on if you need to. Cause once you put blush on, girl, it's hard to get it off. This looks a little harsh in the lighting, but it's not, I can assure you. A little there. And we're gonna go in with the highlighter. We're going to go with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This is the Skin Frost and Icy Execution. And we're just gonna use a really fluffy brush. I love of his highlighters. They're always very pigmented, as you can see. Whew, girl, we look like a glazed donut. Put a little highlight up under here. I might have to use my finger for that. See, none here. Oh yeah. Oh yes, Miss Thing. And I just put a little here. What's nice is that it has this in it too. Nice little red moment. Not really a red moment. I don't really know. More of like, um, it does give a little bit of a red mauve kind of. Just a little bit more of a tint. Enough is enough with them. All right. So now we're gonna need some lip liner. I'm gonna go in with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This is in the shade. I need to sharpen it. <laughs> Unicorn blood. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. So now I did get my lips filled. I do not like the injector that I went to this time. I don't like the injector. Um, she gave me a wrinkle here. Yeah, I'm not I'm not too happy. We will go when I'm done. And then we're gonna go in with communion wine from Jeffree Star. Now, normally I would spray some setting spray, but really I'm just gonna take this off after we're done filming. And um, yeah. So I'm not gonna spray that spray on. If somebody can please tell me how to use this milk liner, I can't get it out of this. Like, I don't know how to twist. Do I twist it? If so, where do I twist it? Like, I don't understand. It's like stuck. All right, let's zoom out a little bit more and do a final thought. All right, so final thoughts on this look. I do like it. I like the way it turned out. I'm definitely going to wear this for the Iron Maiden concert. I'm really excited. It's in a couple weeks and not loving my lips obviously because the injector but i do the best i can when like they're uneven i just i'm i'm pissed and my lips you know if you've been here on this channel for a while i've had my lips done i've had them done for three years now and i've never had these issues and i'm just not happy about it at all so um yeah i'm i'm really loving this so i can't wait to come back show you guys some outfit pairings with this uh with this look of potential outfits that i'm gonna wear for the concert and you guys are gonna have to let me know which one that you like made it this far thank you i love you guys i hope that you enjoy the blooper reels here at the end so thanks for making it this far if you like this look give it a thumbs up it helps me with the algorithm the algorithm has really been hitting me lately so dropping comments thumbs up it helps out so much guys and be sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave all right i'll see you guys next time not right now i'm filming a video i said so i have a foster dog back there that is lucy yes she looks exactly like gus and bob <laughs> Huh, Lucy? <gasps> Lucy, Lucy! You wanna say hi? Come here. <gasps> <laughs> yes.